I would just like to begin by saying a few words. Justice has prevailed today and myself, Lee and Sharon, would like to start by thanking the Solicitor General, Frank Mulholland, and his team for securing this much sought after conviction. We are grateful to the jury who listened carefully to the evidence over these past few weeks and today returned a verdict that brings closure to the family. We are glad this 17 year long, a 17 year long nightmare has finally come to an end. There were many times we thought this day would not come. We are hoping we can now move on as a family and start to remember Vicky as the loving sister she was before she was so tragically and cruelly taken from us. <laughs> Vicky's abduction also robbed us of our mum Jeanette, who never came to terms with the, va the fact that Vicky never came home that night and who died of a broken heart two years later, never knowing what happened to her daughter. We take comfort in the knowledge that Mum and Vicky have been looking over us and giving us the strength needed to cope during these difficult times. We would also like to take this opportunity to offer our condolences to the family and friends of Angelica Kluck. They are in our thoughts today as it was only after her death that we eventually found out what happened to our sister. We know only too well the hurt and grief that they will have suffered. Lastly, Vicky was much more than the girl who was abducted and killed by a stranger or a girl on a missing poster. Our sister was warm, clever, generous, a generous girl who shared many happy years with us. We will always remember Vicky as she lived, not as she died. Thank you. For some time now, Vicky's family have known the awful truth of what happened to Vicky after she disappeared that night in Bathgate. And the truth is, uh, that a man of no recognisable humanity took the life of the girl they loved. In 2007, uh, Vicky's family were finally able to lay her to rest. And now they know that the man who killed Vicky has been brought to justice in a court of law.